And the reason why we can use modules or we have to use modules is to make things compact. So for our worms example, we're going to do this now. Um, and we're going to uh, get rid of all the clutter here. So we're going to copy lots and lots and lots of this and uh, put this in its own right. So we have here on in, in this in our warm v1.cpp I intend to just place the things that are the most crucial for our game for the workings of our game but I'm going to abstract as much as possible that has to do with the visualization of the worm and the behavior of the worm and the score keeping for instance we can put that in our worm uh, in, an, in, a, in, a, in a module and for that we have to start something completely different we'll call that worm um, dot h, voila, so a completely new file, and in that file I'm going to read our worm v1 dot cpp, there we go, so I can copy things from there easily, um, because what we're going to de declare is basically this n curses, we don't need that in the, in the main function, so there I can already completely get rid of it, boom, and also these two, are just actually for displaying the worm or um, uh, keeping the string for the score keeping. So also there, I'm just going to get rid of that. Later, what I'm going to do here is just include, or what I'm going to do now, is just include worm.h. So those two I already have included here in worm.h, and therefore I don't have to do it here anymore. It will, done, it will be done automatically here. Same for this clear screen. This clear screen is something that I can just uh, leave here and uh, not do here. Now, what we don't have here, what we don't need here, is a main function, of course. However, what we will need to do here is put all those coordinates here. And I'm going to use them just as, this is quite dirty or not very well structured, but I'm going to put those as, um, const, as uh, variables that are global. All of them will become global variables that are accessible throughout the program first. Then this initialization that was in our main function, I'm going to also uh, put that in a, in a initialization function, which I'm going to call init, for instance, which I think should not have any, any return value, but also not anything that I pass. Also, this we can change later. Uh, oops, what am I doing here? Uh, well, we'll do it later. We'll, we'll, we'll say that I'm going to first uh, abstract all of this and I'm also, also going to define how those functions work. That means also here, I don't have to do any of this in the main function. So I can completely have this. And then what I will have to do here is I will have to call in it, right? And this is something that I completely throw away. Now, Perhaps I could also put the, place, the initial placement of the foot in the, in the initialization function. I think this makes sense. So let's do it here. So in this case, I already initialize everything that has to do with our display. So I initialize the screen, I hide the cursor that should be sometimes blinking, uh, and I already place the foot. Now, this while loop we could also create as our own function so that I would have almost nothing in the main function. However, I'm going to not completely replace everything um, uh, uh, in main with, uh, with what is here in the worm function. I'm going to operate it sli slightly different and I'll basically add a function here to do this here. And the best way to do that would be to um, have a function that basically feeds back a boolean um, and I'll call it has quit and it will basically get nothing but this global variable um, and it will return in this case c is not equal to the character q and that's basically where I can, instead of this, and instead of having to use C, because C is, is a global variable, I could do this. But in this case, I can just do has quit. And if that is the case, um, then, I, that I, then I go out of this while loop. If not, I keep on going into this while loop. Okay? 
kind of makes sense, right? And then I start abstracting more. I need another function in this case um, for getting the input of the of the of the user. This is, as we know, a character. So we basically say um, user input input. There we go. Also, that is fairly simple. That is exactly what we had uh, over here, or in this case, over here. So let's just get rid of that. Um, do we have to do... No, we have to just... Actually, we can just uh, make this a void function. Right, so we basically just get the user input, put it into C, in this constant, in this um, global variable C, and that should do it as well. Clear screen we already have here, so that means over here we can just get rid of that and say we want user input. We clear screen. Then we have to uh, do our drawing of our worm. That's exactly what we're going to do. So in this case, we say void draw warm. And also that is, is something that where we're going to just um, copy paste what we already have done without that much. So this we can clear. Um, shall we? Actually, let's call it move warm. Uh, let's call it draw war. Um, I think I think there we can um, do something later on. But in this case, everything that has to do with drawing our worm is now encapsulated over here, and everything that is um, has to do with drawing our food is is similarly completely encapsulated over here, and similarly. Everything that has to do with draw our score is encapsulated over here. And since that, I think there the comments are really self-explanatory, um, I don't think we need to do that much more of, uh, of, of anything else. Now, this, this closing of the terminal is similar to our initialization here. Um, so, what is the opposite of initialization? I would say clean up. And there, now we can do just end window and close the terminal. But I think that way we basically have all our functions that we need. And that will be making, I think, the whole structure of the main function a little bit easier to deal with. So we, we input, uh, we wait for user input, we clear the screen, then we draw our worm. Then we draw the food, and then we draw our score. And that's it, while the user has quit. And instead of this end win, we basically, oops, what was the name? Clean up, right? Up, I think it was right. So this is a, a lot more readable as a main function and shows you much more what we've been doing here, right? That is, I think, what or that is the most important reason why uh, such a thing is happening. Now, in here, we have put everything in .h file. Now we could do this, but this is not nice because here, now we basically represented part of the clutter in warm version 1 with part of the clutter in warm.h. And we have it a little bit more structured, but not much more, right? A lot nicer, or the way we, we deal with that, as we saw in the slides, is with creating not just an h file, but also a cpp file. And the way we do that is we save this. Um, then we, or, well, actually, we could go for... Worm CPP. We open in that case worm.h or copy everything from worm.h in here. And in, 
And this is almost everything we'll have to do, because this is for all the uh, functions that we want to use, we already define how they work. However, in a, uh, in a CPP file, we don't declare the global variables. And we don't declare what we include, apart from this one header file that we do have to include, which, as we say, is called include, uh, is called warm.h. Let's also get rid of that. So <clears throat> the, <clears throat> once we have warm CPP, we link it this way with our warm.h. In warm.h, we'll have just the declaration of the function, so basically just the way the, the functions are interfaced, but we won't have the functions defined. That's what we'll do in CPP. So warm.cpp should be completely done now. So let's get out of this. Let's go back to warm.h. And here, we basically just declare what functions we have. So this is one function. Um, this is one function. This is one function. This is one function. Almost there. Oops. And this is a function. Okay. Right. So now, say that anyone wants to use our war module and our war module is basically like a library where people can look at what functionality we provide and what data we provide then later uh, people can just look at our warm.h file and hopefully we'll have commented what happens here um, most of those functions i think are already quite well represented in terms of their names but also there usually or we'll see later that we'll use and also arguments there and lots of other things but the encapsulation has been now completely happening for our war module, which is represented by warm.h. There we basically say what libraries we use, what global variables we use, and what functions we use. And in warm.cpp, we have just done the definition of all the functions that we declared here. Okay? And that is what we're going to use now uh, for compiling. And then... Uh, what, what will be happening is that we can't use a one-line, or not easily, a one-liner to create and build our entire program. We'll have to first compile into object files parts of our program. And the parts of our program are represented by the CPP files. On one hand, you have the warm v1, that is our main CPP file, where we say, oops, there's still this thing here, right? where we say we use warm.h, as, uh, as part of our, as a library where we use certain functions and then we use all of those functions to really get a nice little program which shows you the functionality of our, of our worm. And in uh, worm.cpp we have uh, the definition of those functions and first we call worm.h which also shows you which libraries we use and which constants we, uh, which uh, global variables we use. Okay? So that, that is everything. Now, how are we going to use that? Now, the way we've seen this here, or the way that we'll see this in the, in the functionality is, so basically we have our G++, our same compiler that we use the same time, but with the minus C, we tell the compiler to not build everything and link things together into an executable. No, we want everything in CPP to be compiled and put into an object file. So when you have GCC minus C and then a CPP file, what C, uh, GC, G++ does is it will take this name and create a file .o. So calc main will be calc main .o. Calculator, CPP will be calculator .o. And those will have to be explicitly linked in a second step once all of them are compiled into an object file. Those will be linked and put together into an executable this way. Okay, now, so we have first of all our uh, warm v1, right? So we say we want to compile just our warm v1 CPP file. 
And then we'll see in our directory, we have now a warm v1.object file. Now this, this object file has nothing that uh, is included in warm.h. It just knows that there are these functions and that it will be and that those functions will be defined somewhere. But what those functions are, it has no idea about. For that, we'll have to compile our warm.cpp. And if we compile our warm.cpp, we'll see that what happens is that we also have uh, a warm.o. In warm.o, we basically have the definition of uh, the fact that uh, warm.cpp uses and defines all of these functions and variables. A question? No? So, and then for um, outputting this, I'll put this as, well, so w1. So we're going to create the executable w1. And just as I uh, show here, we basically have our executable, which is uh, uh, w1. And then we basically list all the object files that should be linked together. All the object files are warm v1 dot o, right? And warm dot o. Now, what happens if I do enter here? Lots of mistakes. Why? Yes, the library and courses should still be linked, right? This is something that, um, that, that still needs to be done as well, because now we're going to put all the pieces together, and then it remembers here all these things are, especially this undefined reference means I have no idea how to do... Uh, stdcr or wmove. These are all functions or wadd character. Um, these are all functions that the functions that we um, used use, right? So all the functions that we have used, like the initialization or the ending of the terminal or the drawing of characters, those are all unknown because we haven't gotten the library yet.